is there big stuff that um, was cut along the way? Things you regret losing? Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> you know, making a game. I don't remember. I, I want to. I'm going to attribute this quote to Peter Molyneux. And actually, no, I think it might have been Sid Meier. One of those two. <laughs> One of the it's something about game development being a series of um, heartbreaking compromises. Mm, that's right. uh, and, and, and it's true. It absolutely is. And there's always stuff that you lose. There's stuff that got out on the internet that, that we lost, that we, we, we cut both for, um, you know, we have a lot of game to bring in, uh, you know, bring all the way in and, you know, pacing. We wanted this kind of, once you're on the path to Rag- Ragnarok, we wanted it to be more propulsive. Yeah. Um, but like that was a section that I know in particular for Eric Williams was tough to lose because there was some very personal stuff in there for him. Um, but, you know, the good of the many. Wait, now which part uh, is this in particular? There's a, a stretch with another entire character named Sinmara, mm. uh, which was Surtur's love, that we had a, a chunk of the game. Um, that uh, we were going to... to you know, visit Surtur and then have to visit Sinmara and stuff like that. And it was oh, just God. like, this is starting to feel like taffy. Um, and people are wanting to get to Ragnarok at that point. And we've got a lot of game to polish. So we, we ended up ultimately making the call, the, the call to cut it. Um, but, you know, it, it hurt because there were some really good scenes we had. Um, and I, she's in the credits because I think we, we preserved her crying in the post game of Ragnarok, but Janina Gavinkar played Sinmara for us and she delivered some emo- really beautifully emotional performances. Uh, um, yeah. So, yeah. So uh, that, that hurt to lose, especially because, you know, she was given, giving everything on the stage and it, and it sucked to, to cut that content out. Yeah. Yeah. And no chance we'd ever see it. No, I don't think so. I, you know, I, I can't ever say, uh, sure. obviously for sure, but like, I don't, I don't think that Eric's interested in any kind of director's cut tech thing. Cause ultimately not only was it cut for scope, but it was, oops, as I punch my mic, uh, it wasn't just cut for scope. It was also cut for pacing reasons to keep that propulsive. And so like right. to go back and put it all in, it's going to stretch that section out again, which is why we cut it in the first place. Yeah, it's it, it's a shame because you know we were gonna have Atreus lie to her in order to get her to you know merge with uh, with Surtur and become Ragnarok, and uh, and and that felt so charged to us because you know Kratos reacting to his son just blatantly lying to get right. what he needed, you know, was kind of was gonna help be a wake up call to him. You know, that like they were they were on the wrong path here, you know, and, and something needs to change. And if you're here, you're probably a fan of God of War Ragnarok, and we encourage you to check out the deepest dive on God of War Ragnarok that MinMax did. This is the best, most thorough discussion about the game on the internet. We have Kyle Bossman, Jill Grote, Serial Vasquez, and I unpacking the game along with the community. It is a gigantic game club discussion, but it's on this very channel, so please check that out if you want a very thorough dissection of everything in the game.